Welcome to Wall Street News Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Tesla calls for tougher US fuel economy rules opposed by rivals. Australia's Mervac to acquire land lease operator Serenitas for $643 million. UK employers see pay growth slowing to 5% in 2024, expert HR. Visa, MasterCard drop as Fed eyes changes to debit card fee cap. Tesla calls for tougher US fuel economy rules opposed by rivals. Bloomberg. Tesla is urging the Biden administration to increase fuel economy standards and end a credit program that allows automakers to offset sales of gas-powered vehicles with credits from electric vehicles, EVs. The electric vehicle maker is calling for the adoption of its most stringent proposal, which would require all carmakers to achieve an average of nearly 75 miles per gallon by 2032. This goes beyond the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's NHTSA, recommendation for a new vehicle fleet average of 58 miles per gallon by 2032. Tesla argues that the credit program favors traditional internal combustion engine vehicles and diverts investment away from EV technology. The company has been a major beneficiary of the credit system, earning $282 million from the sale of regulatory credits in the quarter ended June 30. However, Tesla expects this revenue to decrease as more automakers launch their own EVs. Australia's Mervac to acquire land lease operator Serenitas for $643 million. Reuters. Australian property developer Mervac Group has announced plans to acquire land lease operator Serenitas for $1.01 billion Australian dollars, $642.76 million. The acquisition, which is being carried out in partnership with Pacific Equity Partners Secure Assets and Tasman Capital Partners, will see Mervac become one of the largest owners in the land lease community sector. Serenitas was founded in 2017 and its assets are based in Australia. The deal is expected to settle in the third quarter of fiscal 2024. UK employers see pay growth slowing to 5% in 2024, expert HR. Reuters. British employers are expected to give staff average pay rises of 5% over the next 12 months, down from 6% over the past year, according to a survey by Expert HR. The survey suggests that the UK labour market is softening, influenced by higher interest rates. The Bank of England is monitoring the outlook for pay as it considers whether its rate rises have now run their course. The survey also showed that the median pay award in the public sector was 6.1% the highest recorded since 1992. Official data is expected to show that consumer prices rose 6.6% in the year to September 2023. Visa, MasterCard drop as Fed eyes changes to debit card fee cap. Bloomberg. Shares of Visa and MasterCard dropped in late trading after the Federal Reserve announced that it will consider revising the cap on fees merchants must pay to banks each time consumers swipe a debit card at checkout. The Fed will consider lowering the cap, which could reduce the fee by as much as 20%. Visa and MasterCard have faced criticism from merchants over swipe fees for both debit and credit cards. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Six, your witty and observant host from the Sixth Dimension. Today, we have some interesting news to share with you. Tesla is pushing for tougher fuel economy standards in the US, Australia's Mervac is making a big acquisition, British employers are expecting slower pay growth, and Visa and MasterCard are facing potential changes to debit card fees. Let's dive into the details. First up, Tesla is making waves in the automotive industry once again. The electric vehicle giant is calling for stricter fuel economy standards and the end of a credit program that allows automakers to offset sales of gas-powered vehicles with credits from EVs. Tesla wants all carmakers to achieve an average of nearly 75 miles per gallon by 2032. This move is seen as a way to level the playing field and encourage greater investment in EV technology. It's an interesting stance considering Tesla has benefited from the credit program in the past. But hey, they're looking out for the future of the industry. Moving on to Australia, property developer Mervac is set to acquire land lease operator Serenitas for a whopping $1.01 billion Australian dollars. This deal will make Mervac one of the largest players in the land lease community sector. The acquisition is expected to be finalized in the third quarter of fiscal 2024. It's a significant move that solidifies Mervac's position in the market and opens up new opportunities in the land lease space. In the UK, employers are expecting to give their staff average pay rises of 5% over the next year, down from 6% in the past year. This softening of the labour market is influenced by higher interest rates. The Bank of England is closely monitoring the situation as it assesses the impact of its rate rises. Interestingly, the survey also revealed that the median pay award in the public sector was 6.1%, the 
the highest since 1992. It's a mixed bag for workers in the UK, with some sectors seeing strong growth while others experience a slowdown. Lastly, Visa and MasterCard are feeling the heat as the Federal Reserve considers revising the cap on fees merchants must pay for debit card transactions. The potential reduction in fees could hit the revenue of these card giants. Both Visa and MasterCard have faced criticism from merchants in the past over swipe fees for both debit and credit cards. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out and whether it leads to any changes in the industry. And that's a wrap for today's news. It's always fascinating to see how different industries and markets evolve. From Tesla's push for stricter standards to Mervac's big acquisition, there's never a dull moment. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these topics. What do you think about Tesla's proposal, Mervac's acquisition, the UK's pay growth forecast, or the potential changes to debit card fees? Share your ideas and let's spark a lively discussion. Remember, folks, keep your minds open, stay curious, and join me next time for more intriguing news from the sixth dimension. Stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.